Protesters have been targeting ICE agents in Louisville this month, pushing for the U.S. Immigration Agency to be abolished. And today, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell paid those agents a special visit to thank them for their service. Kentucky senior senator delivered a message to those who want to abolish immigration and customs enforcement less than 24 hours after police asked protesters to leave their camp at MLK Park. WHAS 11 political editor Chris Williams joins us with details. What exactly did he have to say there, Chris? Well, we, he told us in the morning that he was going to have a news conference, but he didn't tell us what it was about. We later learned what that was about on Twitter. That message to ICE that they do important work and that the protests, even of him at restaurants, would not intimidate him. Leader McConnell held a news conference just after 3 this afternoon saying that although he felt the agents were not impacted by the protests, he wanted to make sure they knew that he was grateful for their work. I thought somebody ought to drop by and see these folks because they've been under pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, round of criticism here in Louisville over the last uh, few weeks. The latest round were the protests Thursday, the Hayburn building where immigration court is held. When asked, Leader McConnell would not say if he approved of the way the protesters were arrested by LMPD, instead saying that was up to local officials to decide. The message he delivered to the agents was done so in private. News cameras were not allowed. Leader McConnell tweeted a 10-second video in front of a Homeland Security seal. No ICE agents were present. I wanted to go by and tell them I was proud of them. We're grateful for the hard work that they do and make sure that uh, people in Louisville and across our state understand what uh, ICE actually does. He cited statistics from 2017, which included ICE arrests of more than 125,000 undocumented aliens with criminal records, 5,000 sex assaults, and 1,800 homicides. Proof, he says, of the important work done by immigration agents now under fire for their separation of children from adults taking place at the border with Mexico. Leader McConnell criticized those behind the protests who've described themselves as socialists. They've given their opinion that they're socialists, and I think that was a subject I thought we'd left on the ash heap of history back in the 1930s. Remember, in a socialist country, the government controls everything you do. Whether you get to work, uh, whether you get to say what you want to say, total government control of everything we say and do. That's what happens in a socialist country. Leader McConnell also said that while he has not changed his stance on the importance for Americans to protest and voice their opinions, he doesn't understand why some still want to confront him in places like restaurants. He insists that it does not intimidate him, but it does impact others who are out trying to enjoy themselves. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.